So in addition to all the internet resources, there are also programs that you can get that are commercially available or are also available online that will simulate the sky for you. So one of the things that we like to use these programs for is to see, let's say for instance, what Jupiter is going to look like on a specific night that we observe it. So if we zoom in on the planet, it'll actually simulate where the moons are as well as what surface or what atmospheric details you'll be able to see on Jupiter for that particular evening. And you can also uh, iterate this in real time or at faster time to where you can see what you'll be able to see over the course of the entire night. So with Jupiter, uh, you can definitely see the four large moons, which here they've been exaggerated a little bit to where you can see them. But from night to night, you'll be able to simulate them uh, orbiting the planet. Another good one that, that we like to use is Saturn. So once you find Saturn on here, which uh, these programs are very good in that they label pretty much everything in the sky that you could ever want. And it leaves you not really guessing where to find an object. But if we zoom in on Saturn, it'll be able to show you the positions of the moons, as well as some of the details in the rings that you can observe with your telescope. So even though this is a simulated view, it's a realistic view. I mean, this is not something that uh, is just put up here to wow you. This is something that you would be able to see with a telescope. And so, uh, just as with Jupiter, Saturn has certain moons that you can see, and this program does a wonderful job, as well as other programs, they do wonderful jobs at simulating how these moons rotate over the course of the evening, as well as what objects you'll be able to see in the sky. And with that in mind, these programs are excellent in that they not only show you the planets, but they show you everything visible in the sky. And so they're excellent at learning, for instance, uh, the brighter star names, as well as uh, some of the constellations. Uh, one of the main things people always ask is, where are certain constellations in the sky? And these, are ex these programs are excellent for actually learning where they are, what times of the year they're up, and what stars are in them.